Welcome to Pokemon White version. I'm Kevaloco. This, I gotta admit, story-wise, is probably one of my favorite um, Pokemon games. Because I feel like uh, it had the best story throughout most of the Pokemon games. And that's pretty much saying a lot because there is a few games such as, let's see, Coliseum. Uh, Coliseum uh, was pretty good as well, uh, XD, Gale of Darkness. Um, different stories. Um, uh, X and Y, eh, it was alright. And then um, I always, uh, always loved uh, Platinum uh, storyline. But anyway, uh, this game had like different versions for, um, well, basically there was a white version and black version, and they have some key differences about places and such. Uh, I'll go over uh, those subtle changes when the time comes, but um, I guess uh, we'll get started. Hi there! Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Juniper. Everybody calls me the Pokemon Professor. I swear, for 2011, uh, these graphics were intense for a Pokemon game. That's right, the world is widely inhabited by a mysterious creature called Pokemon. Pokemon has mysterious powers. They have come, uh, they come in many shapes and lives in many different places. We, hu uh, we humans live happily with Pokemon, living and working together. We complement each other. We help each other out to accomplish difficult tasks. Having Pokemon battles uh, uh, one another is particularly popular, and it deepens the bond between people and Pokemon. And that's why I research Pokemon. Well, that's enough from me. Can you tell me about yourself? Now you can ha have the option of being a boy or a girl. Obviously, I'm a boy. Yes. I'd like to know your name. Please tell me. Now, um, normally I would go with uh, my name, but this is more of a story-driven... Um, game and it feels um, for me it's kind of weird um saying my name um for different uh, storylines so um i'm gonna go with um one of the canon names for this person um and that is Blake. Yeah, there is also a uh, Blair, which I thought it was cooler, but I thought I'd uh, go with the other one. And then there was also Hilbert, which, let's be perfectly blunt, no, I'm not doing that. Your, na uh, your name's Blake. So your name's Blake. What a wonderful name. Well then, I'm going to introduce you to your two best friends. This young man is Sharon. He can be a little difficult, but he's a very honest person. This young woman is Bianca. She's a little flighty, but she works very hard. I think you three have potential, so I'm going to give you your very, very important Pokemon. A very, very important Pokemon. Blake. The moment you choose the Pokemon that will accompany you and your journey, your story will truly begin. During your journey, you will meet many Pokemon and people with different personalities and points of view. I really hope you find out what is important to you in all of these travels. That's right. Befriend new people and Pokemon and grow as a person. 
Uh, sorry, I was looking at my phone real quick. That's, uh, uh, that is the most important goal for your journey. Let's go visit the world of Pokemon. Yeah, this uh, game also has seasons. Blake, I heard from Professor Juniper. We can have a Pokemon? What's keeping Bianca? Am I a little late again? Sorry. Bianca, I've known you for 10 years that you have no sense of time, but seriously, Today is the day we can uh, get a Pokemon from Professor Juniper. I know. Sorry, Blake. Sorry, Charon. So, where are the Pokemon? They were delivered to Blake's house, so Blake gets first pick. Naturally. The Pokemon are waiting for us inside that gift box. Okay, Blake. You go first and take a peek at the gift box. I want to meet the Pokemon right now. Alright, so, I guess let's do that. Blake, open the gift box. I brought three Pokemon, one for you and one for each of your friends. Please settle your choices politely. Enjoy your Pokemon, Professor Juniper. And as for most Pokemon games, you start with three choices. First, you have Snivy, the grass type. Tepic, the fire type, and Oshuot, the water type. Uh, let's see, start off, uh, Snivy is a very speedy tank, which uh, is pretty unusual. Um, I would suggest Snivy if you want a challenge, because like most uh, beginnings, uh, there are... A lot of weaknesses to overcome. Um, and his move pool is probably the few and uh, shortest out of the three. Uh, which I'm not saying it's not usable, but you kind of have a hill to climb. Tepic uh, grows into a firefighting type for the fir and third time uh, from. Um, this part of the series. Um, and they say it's overdone, and I completely agree. But, um, but besides that, um, Tepig is a very tanky offensive, uh, offensive, um, a physical offensive, um, Pokemon. Like, it has the highest HP of all the starters, and it has the moves to help uh, help out with the off and the offense it has, and also how much HP it has. Oshawott is more the balanced um, um, Pokemon, and it's very good at using HMs. Like I believe it can use like five of them. So if you want to. Um, Turn it into an HM slave, you can. Um, but yeah, it's also uh, pretty bulky as well. Now, all three starters have. Um, they're all tanky um, for their own reasons. But um, for my choice, I'm going to go with Tepic. Blake chooses Tepic. Okay, I'll take this one. Sharon, that one's yours. Hey, how come you get to pick out my Pokemon? Oh, never mind. I wanted Oshawa from the start anyway. Everyone has chosen a Pokemon, so that's that.
Hey, I know. Let's have a Pokemon battle. Honestly, Bianca, even though they're still weak, uh, weak Pokemon, you shouldn't have Pokemon battles inside of a house. Don't be so worry, Wart. These little ones are weak, like you said. We have to uh, let them battle until they'll get stronger. It's settled, Blake. Get ready for a Pokemon battle. Ooh! I love how animated this is, which is very new to the series. Alright. Um, she will always have the Pokemon that um, your Pokemon is strong against. Uh, Snivy has uh, Tackle and Leer. Uh, Tepic will have Tackle and Tail Up. And um, Oshawa will have Tackle and Leer as well. For the most part, this is all basically luck based by how good your Pokemon does. It depends on a lot of different things. Hopefully, um, I'll be lucky. Yeah, because I'm just going to use Tackle because there's really no point in trying to lower defenses and all that. And watch, um, as soon as I save that, it's going to bite me in the ass. Okay, never mind. Like, I was expecting this to bite me in the ass. Alright. The Pokemon on both sides did their best. And I get money. Whoa. Wow. Blake, you're gonna be an awesome trainer one day. I could tell. No doubt. Uh, Bianca, would you take a look around? Whoa! What happened? Wow! Pokemon are amazing! So little, but so strong. I'm so glad I get to have a Pokemon. Oh, uh, sorry about your room, Blake. You are completely hopeless. Here, I'll restore your Pokemon for you. Blake's Pokemon needs to be fixed up, too. Hey, Charon, how about you battle too? With all you know, I'm sure you could battle without turning the room into a disaster area like I did. I believe you're right. It'll be no problem for me to keep the room from getting any messier. Besides, it's not fair if you two are the only ones who have to have fun battling. It's decided you'll be my opponent in our first Pokemon battle. Let's see what you can do, Oshawott. Alright, we got Pokemon Trainer Sharon. He'll have Oshawott. Like, his Pokemon will always have the advantage of yours. But luckily, there's no um, elemental moves. Like I said, he'll have uh, Tackle and... Uh, did I say Leer? Yeah. Of course, I'd be wrong. Tail whip. Yeah, so Snivy is the one that has Leer, and then both Te and Tepic and Oshawa have Tail whip. Alright. That takes care of Oshawa, and Tepic grew to level 6. Ah, so that's a Pokemon battle. Get a thousand dollars right then and there. I made a strange blunder in my first battle, but this feeling I have. I'm finally a trainer. But first, we better go apologize to your mother about this messed up room. Oh, I better come too. Alright, so now I have time for myself. Alright, let's see what Tepig have. A naive nature. Alright, so, um, 
natures actually um, benefit um, different stats on Pokemon. Um, HP is how many hits you could take. Attack, uh, attack is your physical attack. Defense is how much you um, resist physical attacks. Special attacks are your like beams and uh, gu uh, water guns and all, etc. Uh, special defense is your resistance to those attacks, and speed is whoever goes first. Uh, you see the red on speed. It means um, that uh, particular stat will have more. It'll have more um, benefit for it. Where the blue one, it actually decreases because of the nature. Yeah, because uh, naive nature raises speed and lowers special defense, and often dozes off. Um, I can't remember uh, what that does um, for the um, EV levels, but I'll probably have that on screen now. All right, but yeah, um, I'm pretty content with this. Uh, in the practice recording, I actually had a, I want to say, um, a quiet nature, which raised its special attack and lowered speed, which I would have preferred, but I'm, uh, I'm content with this. Uh, he's going to be a little wildfire, uh, wildfire. All right, uh, let's go, um. Damn, my room looks like a mess. I mean, I can't say much about that. But alright, uh, let's go face the music. I'm very sorry about all the trouble, ma'am. Uh, sorry. Well, um, we could clean up. Clean up? No worries, I'll take care of it later. Shouldn't you be on uh, your way to meet Professor Juniper? Yes, thank you. Please excuse us. Come on, let's go thank Professor Juniper. I'll be waiting out in front of the Pokemon lab. Oh wait, I gotta go home first. Thank you for having us over. Uh-oh. My, my, Blake. Pokemon battles are so lively, aren't they? I could hear the Pokemon's cries clear down here. Hmm. That sure reminds me of my first Pokemon battle. Oh, and you know, after a battle, you need to rest your Pokemon. Well, at least the and she healed some. Your Pokemon is looking great. Now, if you're going to go out, don't forget to, uh, your cross transceiver. Alright, we get the cross transceiver. You're going to thank the professor too, right? Better get going, honey. Um, uh, yep, sorry about the room. Alright. God, that was such a nice touch when I first uh, saw this game and how incredible it looked. But yeah, um, let's go follow Bianca, see what she is going to tell her parents. No, no, a thousand times no. But I'm, I'm a good trainer who's got a Pokemon and everything. I could totally go out on an adventure. Oh, it's okay. It's fine. I'll be waiting for you in the front of the lab, okay? Wow, she looks upset. What nonsense is this? How can my daughter, who knows nothing of the world, be going on a journey with Pokemon? Don't mind my husband, dear. He's just being overprotective. All children go on adventures with Pokemon. It's part of growing up. Yeah, but he seemed pretty adamant about it. 
All right, let's uh see Charon's um, place. Hey, Blake. I heard it from the professor, so you're getting a Pokemon, eh? Oh, you already got it. Hmm. That sure is a cute Pokemon. And, y uh, and you're all finally starting your journeys as trainers. Well, let me read a passage from a book called Adventure Rules. The X button is vitally important for trainers. Never forget that. That Charon. I'm sure he's at the laboratory. He's so... How should I put it? Diligent or better conscientious? Um... I was gonna say, uh, I was gonna say anal, but, I don't know. Uh, Alright, now that we got the introductions out of the way, let's head to the lab. Okay, let's go meet the professor. Hi there. I've been waiting for you uh, young people. Let me introduce myself again. My name is... Professor Juniper, we know your name. Come, come, Charon. This is not uh, a time to take things lightly. Today is a day to remember always, so it's best to behave with some formality. That being so, once again, my name is Professor Juniper, and I'm researching when and how the creature called Pokemon came to existence. Oh, that's unusual. You already had a Pokemon battle? So maybe that's why. It feels as your Pokemon already begun to trust you. By the way, would you like to give uh, your Pokemon a nickname? Yes, I would. And, as I said before, um, this Pokemon's nickname is... Wildfire. Ah, uh -huh. I see. Are you okay with the nickname Wildfire? Yes, because that's what I chose. Wildfire, it's a name. It's such a great name. As for why I gave you all Pokemon, it's for the Pokedex, right? Pokedex? I'm astonished. Nice work, Sharon. You have already studied Pokemon extens extensively, haven't you? Still, let me explain everything from the beginning, for everyone's sake. The Pokedex is a high-tech device that automatically uh, records the Pokemon you encounter. So I want you three to visit many places and meet all the Pokemon in the Univer region. This is my request. Blake, Charon, Bianca, you'll go on an adventure to complete the Pokedex, will you not? Yeah. Okay, I mean, yes, Professor. Thank you very much. Because of you, I can become a Pokemon trainer exactly as I've always wished. All of you, thanks. You have given me the best possible answer. And we get the Pokedex now. Next, I need you to teach, uh, I need to teach you how to meet Pokemon. Please meet me at Route 1, okay? Since the professor asked us, it's okay to go on an adventure, right? I can explore and maybe find out what I want to do in life. I think I like that. Of course. We can travel however we want while we complete the Pokedex. Hey, Blake, wait up! Oh, there you are, and what did the professor have to say? She asked you to complete the Pokedex? I can't believe it. Well, actually, I can. I already knew she was gonna ga uh, going to ask. That's why I brought you three of these town maps. Take them with you. Alright, we get the town map. Here you are, Charon. I'll take good care of it. And one for you too, Bianca. Thank you so much. As for your room, Blake, or what's left of it, no need for any of you to worry. 
I'll take care of tidying up. Okay, Blake? Ah, Pokemon, they're so cute, but they have enough power to destroy a bedroom. They're really something. Uh. With Pokemon like that at your side, you'll be safe wherever you go. I'll let your parents know. I hope that in addition to um, Pokemon, you'll find lots of places uh, um, you like in the Unova region. And become wonderful adults. Have a great trip. If I were to use the town map, I'll always know where I am. That's certainly helpful. Shall we head to Route 1? The professor is waiting. Let's go, let's go. Blake, hurry and come too, okay? Alright. So I guess let's head over there. Blake, it's this way. Bianca said if we're starting a journey together, she wants us to take our first steps at the same time. Hey Blake, let's all take our first step on Route 1 together. Okay, here we go. One, two. Oh, I wonder what will happen. Isn't this so exciting? It sure is. Come on, the professor's waiting. Professor Juniper, I'm, so, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Now that everyone's here, I'll explain. The Pokedex pages update automatically whenever you meet a Pokemon. Moreover, it sets up so that you can attain even more information when you catch a Pokemon. To make things uh, make this clear, I'm going to demonstrate how to catch a Pokemon. Alright, we got Mancino. Alright, it's going to use Pound. Patrat use Leer. Alright, use a Pokemon, uh, use a Pokeball after lowering its HP. I swear, on my computer screen, it's a lot better looking than uh, my, D uh, my DS. Gotcha, Patrat was caught. Did you see that just now? Here's how it goes, step by step. First, reduce your Pokemon's HP. Pokemon still have a lot of their energy are difficult to catch. If you can, use the Pokemon's move to make the Pokemon you want to catch fall asleep or paralyze it. And to wrap it up in the best way, I have a gift for you. Some Pokeballs. Alright, you get five Pokeballs to start with. Pokeballs are used for catching Pokemon and for you to carry the Pokemon you catch. I'm going up ahead. I'll be waiting for you in Accumula Town. She forgot to say that Pokemon jump out you in tall grass. I'm heading to Akuma Town too. I think I'll go too. I'm looking forward to the next town so I can uh, shop and go shopping for Pokeballs. Wait a minute. Hey, listen, Blake, Charon. I just thought of something fun. But we need to get going. I imagine the professor is waiting too. Would you just listen for a sec? Seriously. Why don't we see who can catch the most Pokemon? The person carrying the most Pokemon, including the one received from Professor Juniper, is the winner. Huh? Actually, sounds interesting. It'll fill up the Pokemon, uh, Pokedex pages, too, so I'm sure it'll please the Professor, too. Okay, then, until we reach Accumula Town, take care of healing your Pokemon in your own house. Me and Snivy will do the best for sure. Alright. All right, let's see what we get first. Uh, Petrat. Um, this Pokemon, eh, kind of sucks. Like, I wouldn't recommend it for anything, really. It's a crappy HM slave. 
It is like your typical uh, Radita of this generation. I'm not really interested in catching it. But uh, Wildfire grew to level 7 and learned Ember. Ember is a fire type move. Alright, let's see what we got here. Wild Pokemon are hiding in the tall grass. What does this mean for you? It means you want to capture a uh, battle or capture wild Pokemon. You should walk in the tall grass. Alright. Is your Pokemon's HP alright? When your Pokemon HP decreases while you're on the road, it can be a big problem. So I'll give you this. Put this in your medicine bag. Get the potion. It actually heals your uh, Pokemon's HP by 20. Alright, let's see what else we can find. Alright, this is Lillipup. Now, Lillipup has a really cool ability. And that is the ability of Pickup. Um, it's very useful. So, I would suggest catching it. Alright. Let's uh, use a Pokeball. I really hope this one has the ability pickup. Alright, little Pup was caught. Also, it's pretty cute. I'm just gonna call it Bark. Alright, let's see what else we can get. Actually, I'm gonna cut ahead until I have five of these things. Two thousand years later. Alright, uh, Wildfire grew to level 8 after all that. So, I've only got these uh, four, or these three, because two broke out. And here's the kicker this is the only one that has pickup. Yeah, so that's my luck. But anyway, now that we got what we needed, we can actually head to Cumulo Town. Blake, are you going to compare yourself with Bianca? Both uh, Bianca and I have two Pokemon with us. How about it, Blake? Do you want to compare which one of us has the most Pokemon with them? Sure. Wow, four? That's awesome. Are you excited to have that many Pokemon with you? Incidentally, if you check your Pokedex, you'll see how many Pokemon, uh, Pokemon you find and how many you've caught. I'm off to Accumula Town. The professor is waiting. The cross transceiver is ringing. And this is a feature for this game. Hello? How's everyone doing? You and your Pokemon are getting along great, right? Oh, professor. Right now, I'm in front of the Accumula Town Pokemon Center. I like to show you around, so hurry over, everyone. Okay, the Pokemon Center, right? Okay, see ya. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Well, I'm going on ahead. And so are we. As you can see, there's many different people. Alright, uh, I guess we should head to the Pokemon Center. Ah, Blake, there you are. Traveling with your Pokemon is truly the joys of being a trainer. Please, follow me. I'd like to show you the most important place for a trainer to know. This is the Pokemon Center. Don't you feel better as soon as you step right through the door? Okay, let's start your tour. Ooh, wait for me! The Pokemon Center is truly an incredible place. 
Do you know why? Because your Pokemon can be healed. And what's more, it's absolutely free. Uh, gotta love that marketing. A Pokemon Center is trainer's best friend. So it basically is um, free health care like in Canada. Here, Blake, give it a try. Hello, and welcome to the Pokemon Center. You restore your tired Pokemon to full health. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Sure. I'll take care of your Pokemon in a few se for a few seconds. Thank you for waiting. We restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. Okay, now your Pokemon has rested. I'll show you how to use the PC at the Pokemon Center. This is a PC. It's free for any trainer to use. You can store Pokemon in PC boxes or select Pokemon stored in your PC uh, boxes to take along with you. In addition, if you catch new Pokemon while you have six traveling with you, the Pokemon you, uh, you just caught is sent automatically to the PC network. Surprisingly, uh, surprising, is it? Amazing, even. Here's something else that's cool. If you select my PC, I'll evaluate the progress you've made on your Pokedex. Professor, it says someone PC on the screen. Who is someone? Very good, Bianca. That's a great observation. Good question, and I'd like to say more, but for now, just ignore it and go on ahead and use the PC. Someone is a person who made the Pokemon storage system. Someone I'll show you'll meet someday. Okay, let's move on. Now this is the Pokemart. This is where you buy useful items and sell the ones you don't need anymore. That gentleman over there will help you with a smile. So let's wrap this up. I've given you the basics of being a trainer. I'm going to head back to New Vemma Town. One final thing. When you get to Strideton City, go and meet an inventor named Fennel. She's a friend of mine from long ago, and I'm sure she'll help you along your way. Okay, best of luck. I hope your journeys prove to be the adventure of a lifetime. Ooh, what should I buy? Potions and Pokeball are definitely important. I'm um, thinking. Alright, let's, um. Let's see, um. Uh, ten Pokeballs. Uh, if you get ten Pokeballs at a time, uh, you get a free Premier Ball with it. And then potions. We'll say six. I'm down to 200. Hooray for money management! Alright, I'm going to go into the PC and dump the ones that don't have pickup. Man, I just got very unlucky. But however, um, even though um, Bark is going to be with us, he is not a part of the team. Um, I will give... Special mention to the Pokemon that are going to be on the team. Alright, so let's head out. Sounds like something's going on in the plaza. Well, let's have a look-see. Ooh, let's find out. Blake, come here a sec. Dire music. My name is Getsis. I am here representing Team Plasma. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to talk to you uh, about Pokemon Liberation. I'm sure most of you believe that we humans and Pokemon are partners that have come to live together because we want to uh, want and need each other. However, is that really the truth? Have you ever considered that perhaps we humans only assume this to be the truth? Pokemon are subject to selfish commands of trainers. They get pushed around when they are our partners at work. Can anyone say with confidence that is there no truth to what I am saying?
Now, ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon are hu different from humans. They are living beings that contain unknown potential. They are living beings who, uh, from whom we humans have much to learn. Tell me, what is our responsibility toward these wonderful beings called Pokemon? That's right. We must liberate the Pokemon. Then, and only then, will humans and Pokemon be truly equals. Everyone, I end my words here today by imploring you to consider the relationship between people and Pokemon and the correct way to proceed. We, ser uh, we sincerely appreciate your attention. Some deep stuff in the first episode. About that speech, what do you think we should do? Liberate Pokemon? That's not even possible. Your Pokemon? Just now, I was saying... Slow down, You're talk you talk too fast. And what's this about Pokemon talking? That's an odd thing to say. Yes, they're talking. Oh, then you two can't hear it either. How sad. My name is N. My name is Sharon. Ugh. I hate, um, I hate updates. My name is Sharon, and this is Blake. Hold up. We were asked to complete the Pokedex, and we were just leaving our journey. My main goal is to become the champion, though. Pokedex, eh? So, you're gonna combine many, many Pokemon into Pokeballs for that, then. I'm a trainer, too, but I can't help wondering. Are Pokemon really happy that way? Well, Blake, is it? Let me hear, uh, let me hear your Pokemon's voice again. I love N's music. All right, Furloin, level. S Sorry about that. Level seven. Um, I believe a limber for its ability. It, its moves are scratch, um, and growl, I believe. Alright, let me hear the voices of your Pokemon. Wildfire grew to level 9. Learned Odor Sleuth. Defeated Trainer N. I never expected to hear Pokemon say such things. As long as Pokemon are confined into Pokeballs, Pokemon will never become perfect beings. I have to change the world for Pokemon because they are my friends. Huh? Strange guy. But I'm not gonna worry about it. Trainers and Pokemon help each other out. Listen, I'm going on ahead. I want to battle the gym leader in the next town, Stryton City. Aim to battle gym leader after gym leader. The best way for a trainer to become stronger is to challenge the gym leaders in each area. Man, 
that's a really something to actually think about when it comes to um, people and Pokemon being together. But anyway, uh, that will be it for this episode. Next time, we are going to continue out of Accumulatown and head towards Stryton City. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Take care.